Hello, this is Mary, the Psychic Animist, and we are on our tarot week. So we're on week 18 of this tarot series, and we are on the star, which is Major Arcana number 17. And the thing about the star card is it's the upturn, you know, after all the roller coaster of the fool to the tower, we're now on the uprise, right? So if you think about the major arcana as being cycles in our life, I think it's similar to like the normal seven year cycle where we cycle through this stuff. So we're going away from the rock bottom, the shit going down, you know, everything, everything falling apart, you know, from the tower where you can't control anything. And, you know, you're just, oh, you have to change, right? Your path has to change because things aren't working and you don't have a choice in the matter. You know, that's the tower. So then we move on to the star card. And this is just a writer weight, normal one of um, the woman who is always, is, well, not always, but most time has one foot in the water, which is on intuition and emotional, um, uh, emotional intuition. Uh, what's the right word I'm looking for? I don't know. But one foot in the water and one foot on the land, you know, so it's a balance too. see, and she's also feeding the earth, the water, and also continuing to feed her intuition with the stars shining above her. So the thing about the star card, it's really about having faith and hope. You know, when you go outside on a clear night, and you see, look up at the stars, just like this picture, the wonder and awe, you know, of being able to look up at the star. It's that hope and, you know, that peace, that tranquility of, you know, things will get better. Things are beautiful. We've just got to reach for them, right? It's all about you being able to step into your new self, to grow, to move on from what didn't work. You know, this is a beautiful, um, the co-creation, you know, the, the time before uh, the manifestation of who you really want to be. It's all about, you know, having faith and hope. And like I said, it's that, this, I like, I love this card because that's what it is. It's those nights that you go outside and you look up and maybe you see the Milky Way, maybe you see Northern Lights and you're like, wow. And it really you know, it centers you and it connects you in with, you know, the universe, with source, with God, whomever you, you know, you say the great spirit to know that there is hope, that there is a place for you, that you are improving, you're getting better, things are, you're evolving, you know, the spiritual evolution is here and happening. Um, let's see, there's just a couple of them I have here. Now this is from, um, the what is it the paula oh paulina tarot and she's got some quite interesting ones this one and then one of the other ones of her decks i like just very unique again you've got um you know she's got one foot in the water now she's doing the ballerina stance so she doesn't have the one foot on the ground but she's pouring still feeding right and it's just again that hopefulness so this is um another one and with the swan. So this this is a beautiful deck and wow, well, I'm forgetting everything. Spirit Song. So Spirit Song is the name of this deck. And I like it because not only is it, you know, the normal tarot, but they give you an animal spirit that you can call upon to help, right? And the swan is just a majestic and peaceful, hopeful, right? Being that you can call on. You know, and it's peace and healing. So a lot of times when you pull the star, this means that, you know, you are in your, your evolution is going happening. You are now healing from um, the trauma that, you know, happened before this, that you are on your way to better things, on your way to the stars, right? Uh, this is from Crystal Visions Tarot. Um, this one I like too. Uh, and this is from Light Series Tarot. And I like this because you notice she has control. That's her hope and her faith is the star that she is holding on to by a string. And that really helps to, you know, I, I feel helps you to connect in with the meaning of this card. 
You know, that you have control. You are in control of your destiny. You know, you can create your destiny. There are fateful things like the tower where you cannot control, you know, what happens. It is just going to happen. Where this is, you do. You can create your destiny. You have the hope and faith. You know, use it. Now, you may pull this card right after some really, whole, like right after a tower experience, right? You may pull this card and be like, what? <laughs> you know, this card is telling you, have faith in yourself. You already know it all. Everything you need resides within you. And that is the beauty of it. Uh, let's see, this one is from the Anima Monday. Again, utilizing a bird or an animal. Um, and I don't remember which animal this is, but again, it's that hopefulness. It's that peace and tranquility, that time that you get to yourself. So, it, and again, I will state, if you ever want to know what this card really encapsulates, go outside on a clear night, look up at the stars. And I know even those who live in cities, there are not some nights where you might be able to see even just one. And seeing that really helps you to connect with everything, with the universe. So, you know, when you pull this again for a general reading, it's about you. You you are in control now. You know, you have that faith. Go deep within yourself um, to find that, you know, to be able to evolve your spiritual evolution. If you pull it reversed for a general reading, it's really, you know, more about what are you resisting? You know, you may be very pessimistic and not believing in yourself. Your self-confidence is low. So reverse really means you have no faith right now. You're, you don't have hope. You're in despair. So it's, it's not a fun feeling to have this card come up reverse. But it also is a sign that will tell you to find yourself again. Find that faith. Find that hope. So if you pull this card in a relationship reading upright, say you're going through a breakup and you're like, huh? <laughs> well, maybe it means that you are finding yourself again and you will be on a better path, right? So if you're in a relationship and, this, and you pull this card, this is meaning that, you know, it is going well. Just make sure to connect in with your partner, right? So you both have that growth and that faith. And so you can keep that connection going. If you're looking for somebody, then it's, a, you know, it means, well, if you're, you're on the right path, right? You're working on yourself and it will come. Um, pulling this reverse in a relationship reading, uh, you guys aren't connected, you are lost, you know, you have lost yourself, you need to find yourself again. And that could mean that it is better for you to move on. That is for you to decide, you know, when you pull this reversed in a relationship reading. Um, if you are not in a relationship and you pull it reversed, it means that you need to take the time to refine yourself, to reignite your flame. So if you pull this card for a career reading, that means that things are going well, that you have your confidence, utilize your self-confidence and, you know, and go, go forth, go forth and get what you need, you know, go forth for that promotion, go forth for that group project. Maybe you're leading and is going to come out beautifully, right? So it is a good sign for career. Reverse means you're, again, it's the same thing where you're, you're not confident in yourself. Things aren't going well. You've lost hope. It's dis despair too. So maybe it's, you know, time for you to really look within, okay, do you want to stay there? Or is there a better opportunity for you? So financially, this is going to be similar again. Financially means if you pull it upright, that wow, you're doing awesome. You know what you're doing. You're, you know, say you're investing. Things should be going well. Everything's looking up. Be hopeful. Have faith that things will work out. Okay. Reversed. <laughs> yep. Not going so well. You don't have faith in yourself. Things are not going to go well, most likely, unless you change things up. So really, this card is one that is all about uh, connecting in and finding the beauty that surrounds us, that we lose so much of the time, you know, do that. And with that beauty, finding that beauty, whether it's looking at the stars, going and taking a nature walk, reconnecting in, it helps so much with having the faith in yourself. You know, some people get so bothered by faith. I don't believe in God. I don't have the faith. No, I don't want to do this. Well, you can have faith in yourself. 
And that is what is most important is having faith in yourself. But you also should have faith that you do have some spiritual allies that are there to help you. You know, whether that's your higher self, your soul, whatever you want to say, uh, deceased family member, guides, you know, deities, whatever you believe, but that you are supported. You're very supported and to really fall into that, but also yourself. Look inside and see how beautiful, how much you're shining just like a star. So that is it for this week. And this trend just keeps on going. So love you. Have a wonderful one. See you next week.